You announced the change to pricing on Wednesday. Advisors have now had a chance to read some of the detail. Some of the advisors have asked, what's the rationale for changing the pricing at this time? Well, this all started when the pension freedoms came in in 2015. And we saw, post those uh, those freedoms being launched, a huge increase in calls, complexity of calls, length of calls. And we've waited to make any pricing changes to reflect the additional work uh, that the freedoms have created for the industry until we were clear whether that was a spike that would fall away or it became something that was ongoing, and it's very much the latter. So we've delayed our pricing rise uh, to this time. I think it's the right time because it's important that we're charging for the services we're providing. Um, in terms of recognising that uh, that service strain that was created last year, uh, we are still going on working to address that and get service back to the levels that we would want them to be. Some of our advisors are telling us that they are seeing some improvements, but we want to make sure that's the experience of all advisor firms. So in 17, uh, adv- uh, service remains our priority. To that end, we've also got uh, a new CEO arriving in the building uh, on the 3rd of July, a lady called Julia Warwick, who comes with a a uh, fantastic background in terms of revolutionising service delivery, particularly with the use of technology. So service remains our priority for 2017. And the fact that we've been able to uh, delay the price rise for some time, but it is impacting, I believe will fall at a time when people are seeing the level of service improve.